I'm Alicia Lonsdale. I'm the chairperson of the Mudgee Local Aboriginal Land Council. And this is one of the properties that we're custodians of within our boundary. We were granted this and six other lots that are adjoining this lot in 2018. So when we received the land, it had been probably 18 months since uh, the Sarah Ivan fire had come through. And so it was very blackened, acacias that overrun the road. There was no access track in here. So we really had a long period of time where we had the property, but we didn't have any means of accessing the area to be able to even see what was here. When we first heard about the pilot, we thought of all the different land that we have within our boundary. It's really opening up country and putting people back on country to be able to manage it effectively and to be able to pass that knowledge on to the next generation. Opening up the access to community enables us to come in with our sites officers and our elders and even just having young ones here to be able to learn about how to identify objects and how to think in that wider context rather than just this is a stone tool on the ground to get them to think about like this is a place where our people camped, this, this site relates to the next. It's been good to be able to say to them like, you know, this is a narwhang or this is a burrowing or this is a five corners, these are bush lollies that, you know, your great grandmother used to eat when she was a kid, that was their food. So when we sat down and sort of identified what we could do as part of the pilot, those were the things that were important to people to be able to not only manage country, but also include community in that and give them back that revitalization of those practices. So the activities as part of the pilot include maintenance and upgrade of the access track. We have to widen it in sections, we have to uh, clear branches from the dead trees and even that, it's, it's an ongoing thing. So it's upgrading that, looking at drainage, ensuring the drainage off the road is addressed, uh, the wombat holes are addressed and just opening it up so that it's, it's not just accessible by four-wheel drives. So cultural burning is a practice that our community has been working on revitalising since 2015. So working with the Central Local Land Services, other communities within our region, we've had Fire Sticks Alliance come and work with people as well. And we've sent people off to training to be able to learn about cultural fire and how we can implement that as a management tool on our properties. The cultural fire is that cool fire, that good fire that will burn out all the weeds and the rubbish and the things that shouldn't be there. But it will also reawaken that seed bank. And so the bush foods and medicines, the right plants that should be on country here, so that was probably the first thing that people wanted included when we looked at this pilot program, being able to address, I guess, the mismanagement and the impacts of fire on this property. For us, that's really important community to be able to include kids in everything that we do so that they're learning that knowledge when they are growing up. For a lot of our kids, it's not gonna be a classroom situation where they're gonna learn and pick that up. It's being out on country, it's walking through the bush, it's listening as, you know, people and elders are talking. So we always try and create opportunities so that they have the opportunity to learn that and then to be able to pass that on to their, their kids.